In this brief tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to apply compression to your audio files in Audacity. Compression is a useful tool to reduce the dynamic range in your audio files. Essentially, you take the loudest portions of your audio and you make them softer so they're not as loud compared to the quieter parts of your audio recordings. And so when you do this right, it'll give your podcast episodes a more warm, round, and pleasant sound quality. So it's a very useful tool and Audacity makes it pretty easy to do. Now, in order to use the compressor effect, you first have to select the audio that you want to apply the effect to. So you can either uh, press the select button over here on the left to select this track, or if you're selecting everything, you can use something like Control or Command A to select all the audio tracks. And from there, you just go up to the effect tab on the top of your screen, and then go down to compressor. Now here, Audacity is gonna give you several levers that you can pull to really hone in your compression. And so I'm just gonna break down what every single one of these does so you have a basic understanding of how this works so you know what to adjust when your audio doesn't sound exactly the way that you want it to. So the first selection here, the first bar that you can move is called threshold. And so that is the point at which you want Audacity to apply compression. Because remember, compression happens to the loudest parts of your audio. So you don't want the softer parts of your audio to get compressed, only the loud part. So by selecting negative 12 decibels, that means that any parts of your audio that are louder than negative 12 will get compressed, that Audacity will actively compress those parts of your audio. So this is actually a good figure, so you can just leave it here. Now the second thing that you can adjust is the noise floor. And the noise floor is what allows Audacity to tell the difference between when you're speaking and when there is either gaps in your words or silent parts of your audio. Because you don't want Audacity to take that audio and actually boost it by accident. And so that's what the noise floor does. Now the next selection, the ratio, is how much you want Audacity to compress your audio. Too much and it'll sound over compressed and monotone but then not enough and it won't actually sound that you did very much of anything. So that's what this ratio does. The, the higher the ratio, the more it's compressed. The lower the ratio, the less it's compressed. Now the attack and release time refer to how quickly you want Audacity to respond to changes in volume. So attack time is, let's say that you're speaking kind of at a normal voice and then you laugh or you, you have a loud outburst. How quickly do you want Audacity to identify that peak in your volume and compress it. So if you want it to react very quickly, then you lower the attack time. And if you want it to take a little bit longer to start applying that compression, then you would use a longer attack time. And the release time is the same, but it's on the back end. So after your audio has gone below your threshold, so let's say that you're speaking very loudly for two to three seconds, and then you go back to a normal tone that's beneath the threshold, which here we have set at negative 12 decibels, how long until you want Audacity to stop compressing that audio? And so that's what those two levers do. And with all of these, it's really best to just leave them at the default setting, listen to what it sounds like, uh, apply to your particular audio file, and then make tweaks from there. You can very quickly get into a situation where you've messed up your audio and you aren't really sure how to get it back. So always start with the default and then make small tweaks to really dial it in. Now there's two checkboxes down here that you can apply as well. The first one is make up gain for zero decibels after compressing. So when you apply compression to an audio track, the volume is gonna be lower because those latter portions have been softened and the soft portions are left basically by themselves. And so Selecting this box means that Audacity is gonna amplify your audio, bring it back up to a good level so that when you go to play it later, not only has your audio been compressed, but it's been amplified to a listenable, editable level. The other option you have is to compress based on the peaks. So Audacity looking at the peaks in your audio and using that to compress versus your threshold floor. But I wouldn't worry about that. I would leave that box unchecked. And if you wanna preview what this would sound like, you can click the preview button and the default is six seconds. That'll uh, let you listen to six seconds of this audio with compression applied. And if you like what you hear, then you just simply click okay. 
So there you saw Audacity analyze my file and then apply those compression settings. So now it's taken those loud parts and made them softer and then raised the volume level overall to fill in that space. So now I have a really well-rounded audio file. Now you can also pair the Audacity compressor effect with the limiter effect, which basically serves as a hard brick wall saying anything that's louder than this particular decibel level, just cut it off at the knees. But you really don't wanna use that unless you're having issues with distortion or clipping. So I wouldn't worry about that, but just know that that's available to you if you need to really continue to fine tune your compression settings. Now, if you wanna to continue to learn how to edit podcast episodes in Audacity, I would encourage you to check out our Audacity tutorial playlist here on our YouTube channel, where we talk about how to cut and move audio tracks, how to remove background noise, how to amplify your volume and apply fades and cross fades. And then if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel. Every single week we put out new gear review videos, podcast strategy videos, and software tutorials like the one that you just watched. Well, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep podcasting.